issue. And I just want to wind back, just, just deal with a couple of the characters involved. I want to wind back to the moment. Boris won the London Mail. Too. You have this slightly strange relationship with him. What do you believe his motivations were coming into this Euro referendum and what governed his decision as to which side he would be on? Look, I spoke to him at length about it and I said, Boris, you've never been in favour of leaving the EU. So why, now there's a better deal offer, are you in favour of leaving now? And, of course, he didn't think my deal and was good was enough. And what Well, my conclusion is he thought that the Brexit vote would be lost, but he didn't want to give up the chance of being on the romantic, patriotic, nationalistic side of Brexit. You know, the minutes before he goes out to explain why he's going to be on the side of Brexit, he sent me a text saying, Brexit will be crushed like a toad under the harrow, typically. Boris, colourful. But I can only conclude that well, you never argued for it before. He thought it was going to lose, and, and that's why he made the choice. So you're saying that he took a cynical decision for his own career advancement over what he genuinely believed in. He'd never argued for it before. And so why argue for it when there's a better deal on offer? And as I put to him... There will be another treaty, another renegotiation. You might well be the Prime Minister at the time when that comes about, and you can get an even better deal for Britain. There was obviously a lot of controversy about the campaign, about how it was conducted, and about some of the claims. I was on the infamous bus with uh, the now Prime Minister Boris Johnson, and let me just play that. Let's deal with your arguments. One of them is on the side of this bus. We sent 350 yes. million to Europe. We don't, and we you do. know we don't. No, we don't. We do. You know we, we do. don't. No, no, no. Admit do. that that figure no. is grotesquely misleading no. at best. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. I'll tell you why not. Because that figure represents accurately the gross sum that is But sent. the gross sum is meaningless. You've got well, the rebate, okay. you've got the public well, subsidy. So the well, true sum is 161 million, as best as anyone can get to it. Um, right? Which is not in, so in itself to be no. sneezed at. Okay. Do you think right Boris Johnson figure. put that on the bus knowing it was untrue? I think they put it on the bus thinking this is the biggest possible number and so let's have a big argument about it. But they must have known it didn't include the rebate. It was a gross figure, not a net figure. It, they got on the bus and they left the truth at home. And that was very depressing. Boris Johnson and Michael Gove, you call them the ambassadors for the post-truth age. Well, it, it was... That's a devastating criticism of two well, people who this, were friends of yours. It was, it was a, a time when some of these things that we're seeing more and more in politics, people having their own facts, their own truth, um, became apparent. There were some things that happened in the campaign and things that Michael and Boris signed up to that I found deeply depressing because I didn't think it was who they were.